best concert. This is very interesting. Um, that's a really, really good team win for us. That's a hard game to play, second night of a back-to-back -back on the road with a bunch of guys out. Um, I thought that our group, as always, um, was super together. Um, we absorbed some tough moments, some turnovers, some missed shots, some missed defensive assignments. Um, not everybody on our team played their best individual game, but I thought the way that the team approached it um, as a group was was really, really good. Um, the ball moved um, for the most part tonight. Obviously, there were some, some points late in the game where based on being in the bonus, we tried to slow it down a little bit and play a little bit more methodical on the offensive end. The ball wasn't popping around as much, but um, that was because of uh, what we were trying to execute on the offensive end. Um, the There is one person, though, that I want to like actually shout out. Um, we talk about staying ready. We talk about being professional. We talk about um, doing your job, being a part of the team, and staying ready. Um, and Luka Samanich, I thought tonight, had some really big minutes for us. Um, his impact on the game was much bigger than his stat line. To give us 10 really good minutes in the second half in an important part of the game after not playing meaningful minutes for a long time, I think speaks to him um, and his growth as a, a young pro. Um, that's what we want our program to be about is people that are willing to make themselves a part of the team, stay committed, um, stay locked in no matter how many minutes they get night to night. Um, so I'm really, really happy for Luca, and I'm, I'm just happy for our team um, to get this win. And uh, now it's on to Toronto. I think a big part of the game was the 21 turnovers you forced. Mm -hmm. What did you like about your effort on the defensive end in, in that respect? Yeah, I mean, I thought we did a really good job of getting our our hands on the ball. Um, you know, touch the ball is a phrase that we use with our team. Um, obviously, there's moments where you have to be disciplined and not reach when you're out of position. But I thought for the most part, um, you know, for us to come up with 15 steals, like it's one thing to force turnovers that are dead ball turnovers, but 15 steals allowed us to get out and play and transition a little bit. I thought our team was um, was pretty aggressive defensively tonight. And, um, you know, it's a big part of the game. We, uh, we've we been on the other end of that turnover element a few times this year. And, um, you know, for our team to, to dig in defensively and really have a lot of hand activity, I think, um, you know, just speaks to the character of the group. Um, I think there was a lot of physical fatigue coming into tonight, but I thought mentally they were really engaged. Kelly has his season high 27 points. Uh, what was it about him, his ga offensive game that was working for you guys? Um, that's as many times as I think I've ever seen Kelly shoot um, for a guy that's usually pass first, uh, will turn down open looks at times to try to get his teammates involved. Um, I thought that you know he was really aggressive offensively. I think he did a good job of recognizing how he was being guarded. There were plenty of times where he had the ball and their team understanding that he is generally a playmaker fanned out to our other players and it left Kelly in some situations where he could play a little bit of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, Kelly's got good footwork. Um, it's hard sometimes to remember that Kelly, I guess, is a big um, you know, he, uh, he's kind of a, a hybrid player at times. It's unclear what position he really is, but I thought his size and his footwork tonight was fantastic on the offensive end. And obviously mixing in some threes at the right times kept their defense honest and allowed him to, um, you know, use all of his ball fakes and foot fakes to his advantage. You had 15 offensive rebounds. Colin Sexton got a huge one down the stretch. What were what were they? What were you doing to be able to get the, to the glass that well? Yeah, rebounding has been um, something that we've emphasized all season with our team. It's been a, a definitely a part of our identity on the offensive side of the ball. Um, we don't want to just rely on bigs to get offensive rebounds. Um, obviously, Walker is a tremendous offensive rebounder by himself, but I think we have a bunch of other guys that are starting to 
you know, show themselves as as pretty dynamic offensive rebounders, even guards. Um, you know, when you're on the other side of the ball, um, I think growing up playing, like guards aren't used to their man crashing the glass. It's, it's something that's a little bit unnatural. So um, I think there's times where some of our guys may surprise the other team. It's also, it's a different habit to build. You know, we struggle with it at times too. Our guards don't always block out the other team's perimeter players. It's just something that you're not used to. Um, but yeah, Colin obviously is a terrific athlete, does a great job crashing. Um, Walker did a good job. John did a good job. Taylor Hendricks, I think, is showing himself uh, somebody that can really use his athleticism and his length crashing. Um, so it's a, it was a good team effort in that element for sure. Uh, Chris Dunn gets to start tonight. The first time he started this week, uh, Probably had too many fouls, too many turnovers. Mm -hmm. This game, he didn't do fouls, one turnover. What's kind of the difference in when he's able to limit his turnovers and kind of how he approaches the game? Yeah, Chris is um, Chris is a player that you know we rely on to make a lot of decisions in these moments where he's a starter. Um, Chris is somebody that is very shifty with the ball in his hands he's a tough cover one-on-one -on -one because of his change of pace and change of direction um, he plays with the ball really low to the floor you know I think tonight he just did a really good job of mixing in passing early in the game um, you know in order to kind of get the best of both worlds you have to keep the defense honest it's something that we talk about a lot with our guards um, you know defensively Chris has such a knack for the ball um, you know he's one of those you know, you'd call him a ball hawk, where he's really trying to touch the ball. He's used to trying to strip people. So there are some nights where he gets a little bit uh, overzealous in that aspect and can reach a little bit too much. A lot tonight he picked his spots well of when to go for the ball and when to just show his hands. Um, you know, Chris is a really, really good on-ball defender. So, you know, it's hard for me some nights when he gets a couple of cheap fouls guarding really good perimeter players. Um, you know, it's hard to play one-on-one -on -one defense in this league. So, you know, I think the nights when Chris has a bunch of turnovers and a bunch of fouls, to me, that's more the outlier than a night like tonight. I think for the most part, since Chris has joined us, um, he's usually pretty solid with the ball. And he generally has a, um, you know, a pretty good knack defensively for when to go for the ball and when to show his hands. Pretty good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.